why am I having to run so many days? Like one of the days it was so bad, I couldn't go to work. Okay, I legit had and bubble guts. It costs me so much because I want to make sure that everybody is good and I'm like making sure that I'm sending stuff for everybody and so it costs me a pretty little penny. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Peek the hat. Today is not a good hair day. For the past couple of weeks, I've been picking up some stuff. And at this point, I've accumulated quite a bit of things. Let me just sign this check real quick. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Okay, and then now, I wanted to go through really quickly and show you guys what I've gotten so far. So I went to the Dollar Tree just now, and they had these cute little bags that absolutely love. I think these are so pretty. Yeah, I think that they're so cute. Like, the color is nice and everything. Love that, it's a nice pink. These are things I had before. Stick glue, a little calculator because she's not good in math. Stapler, staples, three bucks of 3,000. Wow, it's a lot of staples. These two puzzle books and two packs of pencil with 16. Let me show y'all what I got. These two brushes are for me. I got these erasers. So these erasers, six of them. And then I have two earbuds because between her and my mom, they're always in entanglements about earbuds. <laughs> they're always fighting about earbuds. And then I bought three more packs of pencils. The only difference is these ones have 24 in them instead of 16, which love that. Then I bought these sharpeners. Can't have enough. This is one of the three. And I have these cute pencil cases. And two came on there for a dollar so that one and this one and the two were for a dollar which I feel like is a pretty decent little deal so love that and then like I said these two bags that I'm gonna pack everything back in and I bought some paper towel because it's a dollar train paper towel is a dollar I'll take it so yeah this is a little back to school haul for her because of course you know she needs these things to go back to school so the pencils I'm gonna put in these little pencil cases, whatever holds. I'm not gonna lie, this is a lot of pencils. She shouldn't need any more pencils for the rest of the school year. But she's in Jamaica and these are a dollar here. Like I feel like these might be way cheaper than they would be there. Especially to buy them in like bulk like this. There's a lot of damn pencils, honestly. Oh, and my mom comes today, so she'll bring these back with her just in time to go back to school. So the three cases of 24 holds nicely inside here. Put it in the bag. And then we have the two packs of 16. I need to buy her a phone as well because she dropped her phone yesterday and the screen broke. But um, yeah, that's all I really have for right now. So as soon as I get the clothes and stuff like that, which is next week, hopefully I get it before because it's with DHL and it's already shipped. But my mom is here for like three weeks anyways, so it's more than enough time. Now I just need to throw this stuff away. Hi guys, so I went and I put this baseball cap on because <laughs> my hair looks crazy. So crazy, like I have, um this little doodle -doo braid out and everything but I washed my hair last night and I haven't done anything to it because I wasn't working today and I'm definitely not working tomorrow so I'm not gonna go through and like put gel or like products in there just to not be going to work so uh, my mom came today she's unfortunately not staying with me but I had her bring a few little goodies for me from Jamaica because of course some of the things you have such a hard time just getting them here. And I'm just sitting down thinking about it. Like, my daughter is now, uh, I feel like you guys can't even see my face. 
but with my braid there there's only so much that I can put this hat on as I'm talking about the baseball cap I bought my daughter some caps because the other day I was talking to her on the phone and her hair needed to be done you know when your hair needs to be done she she her hair is light like mine so whenever you do it it doesn't last very long before it looks crazy and so you know when your hair needs to be done it looks a little crazy and I'm just like wow she really needed like a hat right now to just be wearing around so she still looks presentable because I feel like I'm one of those people who think girls should always look presentable I mean all kids should always look presentable but girls in particular should always just look put together you know what I mean and so I'm very particular about my daughters like they need to look like they have a mom hold on y'all so just now I was in the kitchen eating something and I took a vitamin and I'm just like damn I need to buy her some multivitamins because my mom is not gonna come back anytime soon and when my mom comes she comes probably once annually right and so I need to make sure that she has all the things that she needs to last for like a year until my mom comes again or if my husband is going down or whatever the case is. So I have some deodorant inside of my cart that I'm going to buy for her. I bought her some school supplies today and yeah, so I need to buy, what did I say I was going to buy again? Multivitamin for kids. Great. That she preferably the chewable ones. I remember when we were um kids, my mom used to always have these vitamins, and when my daughter was younger, I used to always have them. So I got her into the app the habit of taking them. And I feel like now with the state of the world, like it is very important, okay, for them to have these things. But I need to see what age is this what age this one says. Little critters. I think this one is really good. I remember my mom buying this one. What does this say? Complete vitamins. <coughs> Calcium plus. This one is good for like bones and stuff. So I think I might buy the both of them. Because like I said, my mom is not coming back anytime soon. I need to buy some more for myself too. I'm trying to like do better with like taking my vitamins and stuff like that. And <laughs> this is probably TMI. But the other day, I... At first, I, I was constipated because I was taking some new vitamins. And then I stopped taking them because I was constipated and then I had the runs. And I'm just like, well, damn, why am I having the run so many days? Like one of the days it was so bad, I couldn't go to work. Okay, I legit had bubble guts. And so I'm like, damn, it's probably because I stopped taking the vitamins. And so I'm like, listen, I'm going to start taking them back because we're not doing all this. I'm all over the place here, if you guys can tell. So right now I'm trying to get certain things together for my daughter i ordered some clothes for her i always buy her clothes and a lot of times my mom is just like she really does not need anything i also bought my sister some um bathing suits because she and was having a flash sale you know they always have those and i was lucky enough to catch it today when they were having it and so i wanted to purchase it now because i know that it might take a while to come and my mom is only here for like three weeks so I wanted to just go ahead and like purchase it now I spent $85 on swimsuits for that she better not cross me for a year because I bought 13 <laughs> she loves the beads so bad I just wanted to make sure that I got her enough to last her for a while haven't got my mom anything this time but I think I might just get her a phone because she's been complaining that she needs a new phone and the last time she came which was almost a year ago like 10 months ago at this point she wanted one, but I didn't get her a new one that time. I got her other things. So now I think I might go ahead and just get her a completely new phone this time. And my daughter dropped her phone. I'm telling you, whenever my mom comes, it costs me so much because I want to make sure that everybody is good. And I'm like making sure that I'm sending stuff for everybody. And so it costs me a pretty little penny. I don't think this time she's going to be sending a barrel. So we have to make sure that everything fits or I'm going to have to pack a suitcase and pay for it okay which it's leaning more towards that at this point but i really don't mind doing that as long as like all the things that i want to send are there and so um last year when she came to that shit really costed me okay so i'm gonna have to buy her a phone i'm gonna have to buy my daughter a phone and or other daughter said that she wanted a phone for her birthday she wanted something else too and i did get her that but the first thing she asked for was a phone so i'm gonna speak to dad and see what we can do together to get her a phone <laughs> because this trip is gonna run me some money okay 
And like I said, I already spent, let me, since I'm on Shein right now, let me tell you. And my daughter was very specific about the things that she wanted. And she happened to drop the goddamn phone yesterday. So that too was something. So for my sister, I ended up spending $86, right? In the end, $140 for my daughter after the discount. And this I don't mind spending because I feel like I do this once annually. Like, this is fine. And I'm getting her so much stuff. It's 27 items on here, which is like more than enough. So I got her bucket hat and I got... At when the things come, I'm gonna do a little haul to like show you guys the things that I got her and like the quality from Shein. Sadly, it's not gonna be a try on haul because obviously she's not here. And so that was 140 plus 85. How much is that? 85 and 15 is 200, but that was $225. So that's already 225. And plus the things that I got her today, I'm not counting all of this because, you know, if you have to do it, then you just have to do it. And this is how I feel about a lot of things in life. If you have to spend the money on something, then you just do. And that's just that. So that's where we're at right now with, with what Janine spent this month. I also texted my mom because since she wasn't staying with me, the person who she's going to be staying with picked her up too. Because, you know, this time is a little bit different in terms of like her traveling because she, um, her boyfriend is sick. Well, he's not really sick. He had a surgery. And so, you know, she wants to be here to, you know, make sure that he's good, which anybody would. And so I don't know if she'll be doing a lot of shopping this time. And I definitely don't know if she'll be packing a barrel. I could ask her because I think that would be a good idea, but um, I don't know. So um, I'm gonna have to see. If she's packing a barrel, then that would really work out because we could go shopping on my day offs and I could just send the stuff for free without paying for a suitcase. 